Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. So, in this video, I will cover these three manifestation hacks that I have tried and they took me a long time to figure out but if you can learn from my mistakes that's the best thing i can offer you right so that you don't have to spend the time that i did on trial and error trying to figure out how i can fasten my process trying to figure out what i can do to make things quicker for me so these are the three manifestation hacks that have absolutely helped me get into a place where some manifestations that used to take me longer now have started to come very quickly and even in general even though there are some manifestations which might take time but usually i have started to get my manifestations way faster than before just when i have started applying these three things and these are paradoxical slightly and they will help you and after the three hacks i will also add one fourth one which will eventually help you a lot that is not a hack but just a trait that you should have in yourself and that will not just help you in terms of your manifestations but in your life too so the first hack that has absolutely helped me is changing the focus on why i do what i do let me explain so when we start getting into this journey right we usually start getting into this journey for a purpose usually it's a person that we want or a relationship that we want or money that we want or house that we want and we start to put a lot of our focus on trying to get that thing and that is our goal so it's okay if we are putting time and effort into getting that thing there is nothing wrong with that there is nothing wrong with me wanting a better relationship or a relationship with a specific person or wanting wealth or wanting like it's there is nothing wrong with wanting something specific but this is where the paradox of manifestation comes in what you have to understand is that you are not changing anyone you are just changing yourself you are not changing anything outside you are just changing yourself the change you are working on is changing yourself and the outside change is not your job once i started to internalize this it actually changed the whole game for me the physical world is a reflection i have talked about it a lot and in a lot of my videos that the physical world is a reflection it's a mirror it's a mirror of who you are think about it this way that it's a mirror of who you are and it's coming from a place of it is showing you who you are and who you have been when we keep trying to change the outside we keep trying to change the mirror we keep trying to change the world when the only one we can truly change is ourselves after we change ourselves the world changing is the job of the law the world changing is the job of the subconscious god universe whatever you want to call it like there are different names people use some people call it the universe some people call it god some people call it subconscious but it's that things job like you are co-creating with subconscious you are co-creating with your higher self i call it the higher self it makes me feel good so you are not actually alone in this journey you are co-creating with the higher self but what happens is think about it like a race right so it's like a it's a it's like a relay race and you have to pass that baton baton whatever uh, whatever you want to call it so you have to pass that eventually to the next person and eventually have that trust in the next person that they will fulfill their job but the thing is we keep trying to change the outside so much we keep trying to manipulate it either it's through our actions or it's through our mindset or we just keep trying to change the person our focus is consistently on that person or that job or that money consistently keep focusing on that thing and it's not wrong to consistently focus on it as long as it's coming from a good place but think about it this way that until and unless this is what neville goddard talked about too you don't actually let the seed get into the ground you don't actually plant the seed you keep conditioning the seed okay what should i do more what should i do next why is it not here where is that text message where is that call why is she not changing i am doing these affirmations why is she not changing why is she not here why is he uh, still acting this way why is he not picking up my calls because i'm still trying to change him when i cannot change him i can change myself and then subconscious law your higher self changes the outside so the world starts to reflect you but for that you have to change which means the how is not your job 
your job is not to change the other person your job is to change yourself and the other person changes as a consequence of you changing once you change the outside world reflects that you cannot change a reflection you can only change yourself and the reflection changes this is not me telling you that these things won't work out or that you cannot manifest what you want this is just me telling you that for you to manifest what you want you cannot keep trying to change the outside when the outside is not your job your job is the inside you can only change the inside once you change the inside the outside automatically changes the second thing is i started observing the character that i was playing instead of playing that character now this is going to be slightly tricky so let's let's understand it let's say i have a thought oh my sp is not thinking about me she's not texting me or i'm thinking why am i always losing money why is money never coming to me why am i not chosen why do, do i never get what i want in that moment instead of so this is a character right there is a character of me who is thinking these things i am actually not the character i am the person who is observing that character i am the person who is listening to those thoughts i am not the one who is having those thoughts i am the one listening to those thoughts instead of playing the game that the character is playing for example instead of saying but why is she not reaching out to me let me find that out i instead started asking myself okay if i am playing this character and if this character is having these thoughts in my mind what does this tell me about who i am being so changing the focus from why am i why is it not working out and playing the role in that game i started taking myself out and started looking at it that okay but if i am having these thoughts who am i being think about it this way me having anxiety doesn't make me an anxious person me having an insecurity doesn't make me an insecure person what makes me insecure is that when i have that insecurity i play that role so let's say i have an insecurity she will go out and she will meet a better guy okay why but why would she meet a better guy because there are there are so many things wrong with me maybe i don't like my hair maybe i don't like my looks maybe i don't like the way i dress all right instead in the and this will be a never ending loop this is how you keep reacting and reacting till till it turns into a dwelling session instead of that in that moment if i would have paused myself and asked myself okay i am having this thought that she will go out and she will find someone better who am i being if i am having that thought maybe i'm being someone who feels insecure maybe i'm being someone who feels that someone will leave me why do i feel that way maybe because of my past maybe because of my insecurity maybe because that's what is convenient for me maybe i'm addicted to feeling like an insecure person all right let me pause myself here who would i be and how would i look at this situation if i had what i wanted at that time is when i changed my focus that okay this is how i would be looking at this situation if i had what i wanted this is how i would be looking at this situation if this thing would be already mine and that's when the shape focus shifts because then instead of the person who is the who is reacting you become the observer then you can change the character that you are playing the last thing that i did which has absolutely helped me is adding general affirmations now um i watched this video of this guy once who was you know trying to say that law of attraction doesn't work and everything but if i and then i looked some of his more videos and it's not he he was not uh, like a coach or something he was a businessman and then when i saw his own videos in his own life the law of attraction was working the law of assumption was working beautifully the law the law was i don't like to use the terms the law of attraction and assumption i just call it manifesting so it was working beautifully because every time in all in all his videos he was saying ah oh, i always get great business deals i'm so lucky i'm the best business owner i'm the best business owner i'm the best business owner he kept saying that and that that kept happening for him he then started in one of his videos he was saying that oh you know i just woke up one day and this million dollar deal came to me but maybe i'm just lucky i am not lucky it's because i added general beliefs in my life and that became my story and i got the results accordingly so it's about understanding that general beliefs are very important to add general beliefs like things always work out for me i'm always very lucky everyone finds me attractive everyone loves being with me everyone likes me and things like that once you start adding these general beliefs you realize how many of your beliefs are actually going to be helping you getting small 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 things in your life and they will aid your manifestation process if i believe that i am very good like i i believe i am very worthy then it would be easy for me to believe that my specific person thinks so 
if I believe that everything works out for me, then it would be easy for me to believe that money will come for me too. So adding these general beliefs will actually always be helpful and has changed the game for me totally. The last thing which is an extra tip which I will always recommend to everyone who is in this journey is self-honesty. I know in some moments when you are going through something difficult, it just feels very easy to blame the world. It just feel very, feels very easy to blame the outside world. It feels very easy to blame people, circumstances, your SP, the coach, everyone, right? Eventually, one thing has always stuck with me. I, I think I have said it before in one of my videos that at the end of the day, I am the only one who has to sleep in my bed knowing that my life looks like this when I can take responsibility of it and change it. Me blaming any outside circumstance can be justified, which means it can be, I can justify why I feel that way, but it cannot be an excuse for me not changing because eventually no one will care if things were difficult for me or circumstances were, were difficult or it was his fault or that fault or circumstances were like this or that coach said this or this coach said this. The only thing that will matter is how peaceful and happy I am in my life and if I have the results that I want or not. Once you start taking that and once you start saying my responsibility, it's my responsibility and you take it on yourself and you start looking at it from this way, how can I change it rather than blame, blame the outside world for it? Your perspective changes to a solution focused perspective and that is when results amplify very 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 fast. I really intend that you apply these tricks and tricks and techniques and these hacks as I call them because they will be really helpful for you. I will see you guys in the next video. Click the like button if you like the video. Subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content. Comment down your video suggestions and I will see you guys in the next one.